Hey there folks, Paul Markle from Student of the Gun and today we're going to talk about adjusting the front sight on a mil spec M16 or M4 rifle, the front sight post. And what led me to that was actually this replacement front sight from Night Vision. This is a tritium front sight and this one has an orange polymer ring that the tritium sits in. Now you can get them in white, you can get them in the the super bright safety green yellow, and you can get them in other colors, but this one particularly is orange. Now, if you have ever zeroed or BZO'd an M4 or an M16 or a standard AR-15 with normal sights, right? Not fancy sights, not aftermarket sights, but your normal standard mil spec sights. This is an A2 front sight housing, and it's an A2 rear sight housing. Well, what you'll know, if you've ever BZO'd one, or maybe you haven't, is that when you're BZO'ing at 25 meters, what you will do is you will bottom out the rear sight, and you do not make any elevation adjustments with the rear sight when you're going to BZO, battle sight zero. All the adjustments are made with the front sight post, and right? So the front sight post is quarter click adjustments. One, two, three, four adjustments for a full revolution. Let's talk about some numbers real quick. Now I know that the M4 is a 14 and a half inch barrel, an M16 is a 20 inch barrel, and a standard civilian AR is what, 16. So it'll be a little bit different, but I pulled these numbers from the official US Department of the US Army's M16 M4 user's manual. So that's where I got these. If you're wondering, you're like, where do you get those numbers? Well, it's from the M4 M16 user's manual from the US Army, so I think they might know. All right, so one movement or one quarter click at uh, 25 meters for an M4 is a half inch. It adjusts the elevation either up or down one half inch, right? The impact, one half inch. And then for an M16, it's three eighths of an inch, all right? So at 100 meters, one click, that's one little turn on an M4 front sight will adjust your point of impact one and seven eighths inches at 100 meters, okay? Then you have what? You have one at 100 meters is one and three eighths, and so on and so forth. You guys can all multiply by four, right? You can, I, I think you guys can all multiply by four. So, you know, at four clicks or one full revolution is a two inch change at 25 meters. So that if you make one full revolution, you're shooting at 25 meters, it's a two inch impact change. And with a longer barrel, with a 20 inch barrel of M16, four equals one and a half. Now at 100 meters, it's kind of a big deal. Four or a full complete revolution is, well, what's two times four? Eight. And over here, what's one and a half times four? Six. So that's a pretty good impact change. You say, well, okay, thanks for the, the math lesson, Paul. What does that have to do with anything? Well, most of your aftermarket tritium front sights that are built for the standard mil spec AR, M16, M4, whatever, well, they only show tritium on one side, right? You're like, yeah, duh. Well, in order to adjust that, what you have to do is you have to thread it in and then you have to turn it around if you want to adjust it up or down so that you can see the tritium, it has to go a full 360 degrees. Well, what happens with a front sight post on an M4 or an M16 when you go a full 360 degrees? Well, you get a really big elevation change. Does that matter? I don't know. Let's take a look. All right, so we got our little silhouette man. We got our chalk silhouette man. Going back to the, the M4 front sight post, we said that at 25 meters, that one click or one quarter turn gives you what? A half inch adjustment. Well, what's one half inch times four? Two inches. So at 100 meters, let's say this guy's out at 100 meters, and I make one quarter click adjustment on my standard M4 front sight, it adjusts it two inches. Not that big of a deal, you're like, eh, only two inches. Now, if you purchased an aftermarket tritium front sight from a company, and it can only make, well, basically a full 360. So you wanna see the tritium, right? So in order to see it, 
you have to look at it and you have to flip it a hundred, well, 360 degrees. If you flip it 180, you won't see it. So each revolution of an aftermarket tritium is one full 360. Well, if it's two inches and that's two times four, right? So at 100 meters, if you're using an aftermarket tritium, a standard aftermarket tritium, what happens? Well, you have to adjust it at 100 meters, one full 360. That gives you an eight inch change in your elevation, either up or down. And well, if you're going to, let's say you're adjusting it and you have to take it two full revolutions to get it where you need to be, that's 16 inches right there. That is a pretty huge leap for a 100 meter BZO. Why do I bring that up? Why is that a big deal? Well, A, it's something you need to consider because if you're gonna BCO your rifle, people are like, oh, well, if I do that, then what I'll do is I'll, I'll change my front sight and then I'll start adjusting my rear sight and try and make it work. Ooh, that seems like, well, it seems like more work than you should have to do, right? Well, what have they done? The guys at Night Vision, what they've done is they've created a front sight that allows you to make one quarter click adjustments because it is split. Because the top part of the site can move independently from the bottom portion of the site. And they even come, and they even give you a new pin and a site tool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the camera and we're gonna point it at the workbench and we're gonna take a close look at this front site. Okay guys, so what I've done is I've done that thing that people making videos do when they're by themselves is they put their camera on the tripod and they pick everything up and they look at it while they're talking and doing it. So what I have right here is I have the replacement. This is the replacement front sight. It is tritium with an orange plastic polymer tube, polymer sleeve around it. Like I said, you can get white, you can get the safety green. So this one is the orange version and you'll see that what you can do is you can rotate this independently. Now what you also get is you also get the, the detent pin that holds the front sight in place. This is from them. You, when you install the night vision set, you need to use what they sent you and they send you one of these as well. And then what you have is you have your metal. This is a very nice sight adjustment tool. Most of the time when you get a sight adjustment tool from a company for a front sight, it's plastic and it's kind of cheap to throw away. This one's actually, you want to hold on to this sucker. This thing is aluminum and it's really well made. So in order, uh, I'm probably not telling you anything you don't know, in order to remove a, an M4, M16 front sight, you just put the tool in and you screw it, you back it, back it, back it, back it, unthread it and the whole thing comes out. And then to put a new one in, you have to rethread. So what I would do is I would put this in. Of course, I would have my detent, my spring-loaded detent pin. And then I would have this whole thing, right? And I'll go ahead and screw it down, screw it down, screw it down, screw it down until it's in. Then I'll go to the range and I'll attempt my BZO. And then when I get my BZO, now what do we use? What do we use as our indicator when we're BZOing a gun? We use the very tip of the front sight, right? We use the very tip of the front sight. So I will adjust this until the very top edge of this is exactly where I need it to be. Now you say, well, what if, what if that isn't where the tritium is. What if it's sideways or backways or whatever? Well, here's the good news. Once I've got this thing, once I have the top edge, wherever it is, back, front, left, right, once I have that where it needs to be, what I'll do is I'll depress this only half. I'll depress only half of this like so, if you see that, and then I'll twist it around without changing the post until it's where I can see it. How cool is that? All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is my discussion about AR, M4, M16, front sight posts and adjustments. Uh, the reason that I brought that up is because this is the, the AR MED build. This is the latest gun that we just built, put together, assembled. And what I wanted to do, obviously, is I wanted to uh, swap out the original front sight post for one with tritium from night vision 
and I had a conversation with the guys and the truth is I was not aware or I wasn't thinking or I didn't remember that their front sight post, their tritium front sight post was indeed quarter click adjustable. Most of them that come from other companies are not quarter click adjustable and you have to do a full 360 degrees each time in order to keep seeing the tritium. And I said to myself, and I said to the guys at Night Vision, I said, okay, you know, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but if I wasn't aware of that feature on your front sight, maybe there's other people in the world that weren't aware of that feature as well. So what the heck, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video and talk about it, which is what we just did. So if you guys uh, are interested in that, go over to Night Vision. You can go to uh, Night Vision and tell them that Student of the Gun sent you. Uh, get yourself a Tritium front sight for your M16, M4, AR, whatever, or quite frankly, any front sight housing that uses a mil-spec M4 front sight post. So there you go. This is Paul Markle from Student of the Gun reminding you, you are a beginner once, but you're a student for life. <laughs>